What's the importance for you for um, data quality in general? Well, data quality in general is a hygiene factor in our business. Um, we deal with businesses. Uh, businesses are made up of people. And data quality is the difference between knowing who you're dealing with and not knowing who you're dealing with. Uh, but the main issue for us, to be honest, is fraud. Uh, we use human inference to automate our fraud detection and it allows us to provide a market leading service um, which is recognised by our brokers uh, automatically. Um, and it's the difference between making a profit and not making a profit is spotting the fraudulent transactions and preventing them. So for us, that's a very practical use of data quality um, and something for which we're very happy to use the software. And why did you choose um, to use the human inference software instead of that of the competitors? Um, I would like to give a, a really long answer to that, but the, the fact is quite simply, um, human inference had been evaluated and selected in one of our uh, one of the ING companies for ING Bank, and we're a very firm believer that if somebody intelligent has made a good decision, uh, we'll shamelessly follow it. And uh, So we used the software because it was already in use with the group, it made the procurement a lot more simple, uh, allowed us to actually get a solution to market much faster than if we had to do it from scratch, um, and that's why. But if that sounds like um, we, we, we were just piggybacking on somebody, it's not as simple as that. We, we like the software and it does exactly what we need it to do. Um, and what do you think about um, the future of data quality? What will happen? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm with everybody who thinks people are going to start talking about information quality. So the first thing we can do is change the name. But to us, it's, it's, it's a very difficult question to answer. Every data quality initiative tends to stumble on cultural issues and it stumbles largely because we can't measure it in the way that we can measure uh, other factors around the business. So I think we're just going to take a radically different approach, not attempt to measure it. We're just going to try and make it a hygiene factor, something that everybody does routinely. And we've just got to find some magic way of getting people to understand that the information they put on our systems is important to someone, even if it's not to themselves. Um, so I would like to say that we've got a rigorous scientific program, but I think we're going to just be a lot more artistic in the way that we approach it. But the main message for us is every bit of information we capture is captured for a reason, and capturing it incorrectly is therefore not a good thing to do. We'll never be able to measure the cost of non-quality, but we believe it's there, so we have to eradicate it. So I think it's watch this space and see how successful we are by doing it in a slightly abstract way. Okay, thank you. Um, one more question. What do you think about the Data Quality Summit today? Why did you go, go here and get some more information? Well, it, it's always interesting to, to um, compare notes with your peers. Um, it's even nicer when somebody um, treats you to a nice dinner beforehand as well, for which thank you very much. But it's the peer networking that makes the big difference here. It's nice to hear Gartner uh, without having to, to trek to another venue to see it. But the biggest thing is I've found a lot of people from a lot of industries, all of whom are struggling with exactly the same issues. And to be able to discuss this outside of a, a pure financial services debate is actually very valuable. It gives you perspectives on the, on the challenges that you wouldn't get if you spent all your time talking with bankers and insurance people. So for me, it's just um, it's a sanity check uh, on, on our industry. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Esther.